Hey, I'm Fantasia. Have you ever taken melatonin? It seems to be everywhere these days as a popular over-the-counter supplement, branded as a brilliant solution to a better night's sleep. I'm sure you've been curious about this magical supplement, so let's break down some science to leave you more informed about the ways melatonin can be impacting your metabolism. Melatonin is an important hormone that's naturally produced in the brain. It plays a vital role in your body's sleep-wake cycle, also known as your circadian rhythm. Levels of melatonin in the blood are highest when it's dark, and the hormone helps you to feel sleepy at night by acting on special receptors in the brain. Throughout the day, when it's light outside, melatonin levels are naturally low. Of course, managing a healthy sleep cycle is not always as simple as we'd like it to be. And sometimes our brain's ability to produce melatonin is affected by activity levels throughout the day, sleep patterns, lighting, and even body temperature. It's tough to tell how melatonin really impacts metabolic health. For example, some research shows that higher nighttime levels of the hormone are linked to greater insulin sensitivity. But on the other hand, other data points to possible negative effects of increased melatonin. A study of 21 healthy women published in the Journal of Sleep concluded that supplemental melatonin impairs glucose tolerance in both the evening and the morning. Honestly, all this opposing research can be confusing when looking for scientific clarity. But there are several factors that could explain the conflicting data, like differences in study design, characteristics of the study population, such as sex, age, and underlying health conditions, and whether the study looks at naturally occurring melatonin or supplemental melatonin. On top of all that, timing is also a key factor to consider as some scientists hypothesize that higher melatonin levels around mealtimes impair glucose tolerance. The truth is that there's no universally accepted optimal level of melatonin. In fact, melatonin levels change on a daily basis and are highly individual to each person. While most research suggests that 0.3 to 0.5 milligrams is an adequate amount for supplementation, many people regularly take five to 10 milligrams, which could contribute to negative effects. So if you're struggling with sleep, it's probably best to test your melatonin levels prior to supplementation. So while the jury's still out on whether melatonin is helpful or harmful to metabolic health, that doesn't stop you from determining whether or not it's optimal for your metabolic health. If you struggle with restlessness or insomnia, short-term use of supplemental melatonin may bring some much needed sleep stability. Just make sure you're aware of how it could be impacting your body in other ways. In general, to keep your melatonin at ideal levels, avoid eating late at night and stay away from bright screens after the sun sets. When there's no consensus on whether something is good or bad for metabolic health, just ask yourself, is this good for my metabolic health? Because monitoring your own blood sugar and other important biomarkers could very well give you the answer you're looking for. If this video left you wanting more context on this subject, be sure to click the link in the description for the full length blog article. This blog covers just about any topic you can think of as you continue to pursue optimal metabolic health. See you around.